To me, the start is 50% or more of the race. Why? Because you get a bad start, you have to pass 15, 20 guys. You get a good start, top three, you have to pass two guys. Uh, from the beginning, I warm up my tire, I make sure it's hot, I spin it once, and then I start jumping, and I feel the bike. Once the bike feels like it's leaping out of my hands almost, that's good enough. I sit there, and I wait for you know the gate to drop. Sit there, have your weight back, feet in front of the pegs, I feel, so you, you don't slide back, but a little bit farther back, have, uh, you know, more stand up, more up straight, on a dirt start, you want to be here because you're getting traction, cement, you want to be about here, yeah, use the front brake because you got your clutch just out a little bit where the bike is kind of wanting to go forward a little bit, so you need your front brake to hold, hold your bike. And with your feet down in front of the pegs, you can hold it too. If your feet are back here, you don't, you can't hold your bike and you're gonna have a tendency of sliding back or doing a wheelie. Some people have one leg up one and both feet down. I have both feet down. You know, I just feel like I have more stability coming off the, more control coming off the concrete or the dirt. And you know, it's, it's rider preference. I, I do the same thing I ride the whole track with, and that's these two fingers right here, you know? One finger on the brake, one finger on the clutch, and you notice the bikes are like this, down a little bit, so when you gas it, they take off. Oh, and then your clutch, you want you want to have it out just where you feel the bike start to chatter, and then pull in just a little bit, so when you let that clutch out, it's gone right there. You don't want to pull it all the way in, because there's, you know, you have an inch of letting the clutch out before the bike will go and that is maybe you know a hundredth of a second but a hundredth of a second could be a start gearing is depending on the bike depending on the weight of the person the worst thing to do is a spin if you come out bogging your bike you'll get a better a better start than if you're spinning the tire like uh, big daddy garlands yeah if you take a picture of this starting line here of uh, that's how most people do the start and that start over there where I did the start, you can see the uh, just an, every knobby coming off the start. And if you see every knobby coming off the start, that's a great start. If someone's fast lined up next to me, then I'm, uh, depends on what side they are on the side of me. If I get the jump on them, I'm going to move over. That's racing. That's how it's done. Pretty much, if you have your handlebars in front of that guy, they're done. The jump is the most important part of the start. And if you can get the jump, then you're going to have a good start. here as you can see we have a, a uh, dirt start and as you can see we only have two gates because in California everybody goes to to uh, cement gates and I think they have a deal with the tire manufacturers so everybody has to buy more tires uh, here on dirt you want to get your body position more up towards the front of the bike you want to be up front head over the bars bars almost into your chest because when you take off the bike wants to wheelie when you're in dirt when you're in concrete you want to sit back here more have more weight on the back tire so you can get good traction off there and you're not spinning. Um, pretty much the same as concrete, you kind of want to have a smooth uh, clutch release, but you can be a little bit more aggressive in the dirt. But if you have too much, you can wheelie or you can spin. You can also spin in the dirt and you'll lose traction. So, um, you know, there's two, two different body positions on dirt and concrete but throttle and clutch is close to the same but just a little bit more aggressive in the dirt everybody's different I like to put two feet down so then I have full control coming off the gate you know some people have one foot up on the left one foot up on the right that's rider preference you know you can't say which one's best because there's been people the whole shot on a whole different style so it's just what you feel most comfortable with yeah, I keep my feet in front of my peg, so if I slide back, I have something to hold me. If I have back here like this, my feet back behind the pegs, and I gas it and I slide back, well, I have nothing to hold me, and then I start wheeling, 
and then your girlfriend and your family makes fun of you when you come in. You know, I have one finger on the brake, you know, the gas, the gas halfway more, and the clutch you want to have out just where you can start feeling the bike kind of chatter a little bit. So then right when you let that clutch out, the bike goes. You got the front brake in to hold your bike when you got it just chattering a little bit. Not where your back wheel's spinning, but you just where you can feel it almost go, and then pull it in just a little bit from there. And you should have the gas on, and right when you let the clutch out, boom, more, a little bit more gas, and you're off the gate. Gearing is, you know, I'm not going to tell what gear to start in. Everybody starts in different gears, different bikes, different uh, weight, everything. You know, it's, uh, you know, it's first and second on dirt, first and second on the, on the concrete. On 125, you know, a slower bike, when it's real dissed up, you want, when you get off the gate, you want to click your gear, and then when you're starting to go down the straight, you want to kind of get back to get that front wheel light to get over that soft dirt. Uh, 450, you don't have to get back as far because the bikes already have enough power. But, uh, you know, every bike, everybody's bike is different. For me, I try to shift, you know, pretty quick over the gate so that I can get in the, the next, the higher gears, higher gears, the faster you go. You don't want to be too close to the gate. You want to be, you know, close enough where, you, you know, where your front wheel's not going to hit the gate. Um, lining it up, you want to always look for a good, a nice clean rut to the gate and a nice clean rut, rut away from the gate. You don't want it to be sideways or a big hole or you know anything weird in there so you always want to look at where you're gonna start don't just look at where you're starting but also look in front of the gate because that's important too you know one that's not too deep one that's not too hard to dirt too soft to dirt you know there's a lot lot to it when he has the 30 second board out goes to the you know sideways you know and I count one you know one two and I shift it in the gear and then you know I get ready I mean you got five seconds so there's no reason just to all of a sudden be revving your bike you know you got you got some time so I, I get revved up because sometimes when you're staring at it too long, you, you're not as attentive to the to the gate. And if you kind of can sit there for you know two, three seconds staring at it, I think you're more much more ready when the gate drops than kind of just almost going into a daze, looking at it, just waiting for it to drop. You want to line up next to people you know are going to get good starts. If you are a good starter, then line up the people you know that's not going to get good start. Then you got a free start straight.